Okay, so now let's go over to our homepage, which we now have. Um, and we need to populate this page with some information, which is gonna contain um, the posts from the communities that we either follow or subscribe to, and also links to be able to create your own community, discover communities, and then links directly to the communities that you both follow and are a member of. So to start with, we're going to, um, we're going to delete this, we're going to delete this app bar. We're going to change this app bar to not show anything. We're going to take the left icon out. We're going to take the title and change this to your app name. We're gonna remove the right icon. Then we're gonna style this. To white and with the text as auto and that should automatically set it to black. Okay. Next, let's add in some text. This is gonna be our page headline center it towards the top of the page and I'm going to say hi and then we're going to enter a placeholder for user's full name make this a size that is going to be quite bold and place it towards the top of the screen add in some subheading text again center I'm going to choose a light font to make it appear like a subheading and add a bit of a page description. Style that as you want. Make sure it's center. Okay. Next, add another component. We're going to add a, a line component, and we're going to use this as like a bit of a divider to divide up our heading from our feed. Add that in. If you want to style it, I like to just make it a bit lighter. So. It's like a background divider. Okay. Next, we're going to create a place for our feed. So let's add in another component and we're gonna add in a list. And it's going to be a component and we're going to make this nice and central make the canvas look bigger by selecting the page title and dragging it down giving yourself a bit more space to work with and then resizing this so it's going to give us a bit of a feed to work with Now you have this, we're going to style our list a bit. Um, so we're gonna want to have a title, a subtitle. Um,
Next, we're gonna add another component and it's going to be a custom list. So if you add a component, scroll down, find lists and a custom list and put this central on your page. And this is gonna act as like our main feed. So this is gonna be like a list of posts of the communities you're following and also a member of and any public posts that they may display also. Select that list. Um, we can't actually select what this is gonna be a list of yet because we haven't created any data, um, but we can format this a bit. So if you double click into the list and then double click a particular card, we're gonna resize this into a square. Then we're going to drag this title and subtitle down to the bottom. Once you've done that, select the list itself. Go over and select components from the left. Select add component and then select image. Drop this image on top of the card or on top of the list and we're going to display this image as a square with the title and the subtitle underneath it. Make sure it's all lining up nicely. Okay, so we should have a, a card with an image on, a title and a subtitle placed in the middle of the page. Next, change the subtitle to content. This is gonna be the actual content of the post. And then format that to however you want it to appear. So I'm gonna put light text. I'm gonna change the size of the text as well. That's okay. Perfect. Next, Add a title, a bit of text, and we're going to have this as um, community posts. Love it. So this is going to be a list of community posts um, of the communities you follow and support. Okay. Once you've got this. Um, we're gonna leave it here and in the next step, we're going to move over to our database and create some database fields so we can actually start to display some uh, information on the screen rather than just use placeholders.